thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part four, titles of officers, etc., instruction, order of business, opening ceremonies, and closing ceremonies from Knights of Columbus by Thomas C. Knight. Diagram of Lodge Room, First Degree. Chapter 1, Title of Officers and Order of Seniority of Knights of Columbus. Grand Knight, Chaplain, Past Grand Knight, Grand Chancellor, Captain of the Guard, Secretary, Treasurer, Inner Guard, Outer Guard. Officers are elected by secret ballot, holding office for once a year, with the exception of the chaplain and outer and inner guards. The chaplain is usually the parish priest. The outer and inner guards are appointed by the Grand Knight. Chapter 2 Instruction Opening Your council should be opened promptly at the hour named in the bylaws and its business conducted without unnecessary delay. Nothing so deters members from constant attendance as long, tiresome sessions. Laws The laws of the order and your own bylaws should often be discussed. Your most valuable members are those who have an understanding of the laws. Ritual your officers should commit the charges to memory. This will add more to the fame and honor of your council than anything else. Secret work. The secret work should be practiced as often as circumstances will permit. It will give your officers confidence in themselves and teach your members the mode and use of the secret signs and words. Regalia. The regalia shall be kept in the ante room. Members will decorate themselves there and thereby avoid confusion and forgetfulness. Visitors Visitors, when unknown, must be thoroughly examined by the captain of the guard before admission. Every courtesy should be extended to visitors. It will greatly improve the reputation of your council. Social Visits as a council to other councils are greatly to be recommended. The latent blessings and virtues of our order will, through such means, be brought into active play. Ritualistic Laws The forms and language of the ritual are law, and innovations or departure from them are positive and direct violations of the order. Lodge Conduct the affairs of your council should be conducted on strict business and social principles. Your business should be governed by nothing but the laws governing the order. Your social intercourse by the strict etiquette of good society. Superiors In true accordance with military and fraternal usage, superiors are to be looked up as to gods, and to be obeyed in all things pertaining to the discipline and welfare of the order. Chapter 3, Order of Business 1. The Secretary will read the minutes of the last regular meeting, approval and corrections according to regular parliamentary law. 2. Reading of applications for membership. The Grand Knight will investigate the applications and appoint the investigating committee. 3. Reports of investigating committees. Unfavorable reports dispense with the need of balloting. A favorable ballot elects to membership. 4. Balloting for applicants. White balls elect, one black ball rejects. Errors may be corrected by reballoting. 5. Reading of communications. Communications will be read by the secretary and filed or acted upon at the discretion of the Grand Knight or by motion of the council. 6. Reading of Bills The Financial Committee will pass on all bills before they are submitted to the Council by the Treasurer. 7. Report of Standing Committees 8. Report of Special Committees 9. Unfinished Business Initiations, Ceremonies are carried out 10. New Business and Secret Work 11. Recess Dues may be paid at this time 12. Good of the Order 13. Report of Secretary 14. Report of the Treasurer 15. Closing Ceremony Chapter 4. Opening Ceremonies The Grand Knight will go to his chair and call the Council to order by one rap with his gavel. Grand Knight, I am about to open. Council Number 
of the Knights of Columbus, all persons not qualified to remain will retire. When the council chamber is free from intrusion, the captain of the guard will distribute the ribbons of the officers, who will pin them on their lapels. Grand Knight, one rep, council, will now come to order. Brothers, remember your obligations. The captain of the guard will take the password. The outer and inner guard take their places, the officers take their chairs. The captain of the guard takes the password. Both passwords are given up in the chamber, outer and inner. Any ordinary lodge room may be used as a council chamber. The Grand Knight will occupy the highest chair at his right, the chaplain, when present, will take his place. The official chair on the right side of the chamber will be held by the past Grand Knight. The official chair opposite the high chair will be filled by the Grand Counselor. The official chair on the left of the chamber will be filled by the Captain of the Guard. The secretary and treasurer will have their places on either side of the Grand Knight. One rep calls the council to order. Two reps call the officers to their feet. Three reps call the council to its feet. Grand Knight. Brother secretary call the roll of officers. The officers stand and answer present as called by the secretary in the order of their seniority. Officers in order of seniority, Grand Knight, present, Chaplain, present, Past Grand Knight, present, Grand Counselor, present, Captain of the Guard, present, Secretary, present, Treasurer, present, Inner Guard, present, Outer Guard, present. Grand Knight, three reps, Knights, brothers, we are now engaged in the noble work of our order. Remember your promises and prove yourself true knights, loyal sons of the Holy Mother Church. We will now sing the opening ode. Air, Columbia. Columbian knights here united. Let each one his pledge renew. By valor great wrongs may be righted, and aid brought the honest and true. Our patriotic precepts require us to love and protect this free land. Let fraternity ever inspire us to deeds that are noble and grand. Chaplain invokes the blessing. If he be present, if absent, the invocation may be omitted. May the blessing of the Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost descend upon us and remain with us forever. The regular order of business is now carried out as shown in the previous chapter. Chapter 5 Closing Ceremonies Grand Knight Knights Brothers I am about to close. Council number, Knights of Columbus, let your light shine before the world that the world may see the beauty of the Holy Mother Church and be led to the unity of true Christian brotherhood. We will sing the closing ode. Closing ode. Air on Ling Sign. Now on life's voyage we set forth an earnest faithful crew. We journey east, west, south, and north for the good that we can do, and be the voyage long or short, and though the waves roll high, we will safely reach the further port on our bark we can rely. Then on life's voyage we will set forth an earnest, faithful crew. We will journey east, west, south, and north for the good that we can do. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.